and music and BBC Online have been asking you to send your own remixes. So uh, before I go, our, we're playing our favourites every Friday at this time. We leave you this one tonight with Michael Wood. you some breaking news about Aung San Suu Kyi, uh, the uh, dissident in Myanmar. She has been hospitalized with hearing. We don't have any further details about what is wrong with her, but the U.S. State Department has just put out that news that she has been hospitalized. Uh, we will uh, bring you more on that as we can. Now, uh, that's all from me for now. The 6 o'clock uh, news is next. I'll be here with that for you. But uh, a few weeks ago, we launched our new Countdown Music, and BBC Online have been asking you to send your own remixes. Here's our favourite today. The 18th World Cup kicks off in Germany. Football legends and celebrities take part in the opening ceremony in Munich. The hosts score the first goal of the tournament. They lead 2-1 against Costa Rica. I'm James Pearce and I'll be reporting live from outside the stadium in Frankfurt, where tomorrow England will begin their World Cup campaign. The other headlines on BBC News 24 at 6, a US general in Iraq confirms Abu Musab al-Zakawi was still alive when troops arrived at the scene of their airstrike. Patients with early stage breast cancer should be allowed Herceptin, says the NHS drugs watchdog. But health service bosses warn the cost could mean cuts to other services. And it's no water under the bridge. Britain's biggest water company applies for a drought order in London. Good evening. We'll have more on all those stories in just a few moments. Thanks very much, Carol. Well, the six o'clock news is next, but now it's time for another of your remixes of our countdown music. So we'll leave you with this version by Alan Dyer. Good night.
6 o'clock. For now. Dan, thank you. The 6 o'clock news is next, but first one of our Friday traditions. A few weeks ago, we asked viewers to send us any versions of the News 24 theme tune that they might have remixed. We've been playing them at this time on a Friday, and tonight it's this version by James Mobbs. Good evening. He says MPs and judges are in denial. Nine years and a string of new laws, but he admits people haven't seen enough change on the ground. The truth is there have been improvements and there has been progress, but the gap between what the public expects and what the public sees, that gap is still there. Also on tonight. Right, let us take you live now to Berlin. There is the scene. Uh, they're waiting for extra time uh, to get underway. It's probably just about to start any second uh, now. A very, very uh, nail-biting uh, clash by all accounts. Obviously, I've been in the studio here, but everyone's been telling me it has been extremely tight. A game of few uh, opportunities. Argentina uh, took the lead and uh, in the first half, so they went in at 1-0 up at half-time. And then, uh, as the German fans started to get more and more anxious, well, who else but closer, who is the lead scorer in the World Cup this time round, uh, headed in across, and uh, that took it to one all. There was a pretty fraught uh, last 10 or 15 minutes, as you might imagine. Um, it's been played out at a real pace, uh, but now it goes into extra time, and if it stays that way uh, after the additional half an hour, of course, it will then go to a penalty shootout. And I bet you those German fans there will be shredding their fingernails uh, if that is uh, the case. But the German fans there looking a good deal more cheerful uh, than when uh, their team were 1-0 down. So there you are. It's one all at, uh, after full time, and they're now playing extra time in that quarter-final Germany versus Argentina. Now, the six o'clock news is next, but first, it's Friday, it's nearly six, so it's time for your remixes of the News 24 theme tune. We asked you to send us your version of our theme tune, or you can listen to them on the website, but tonight we leave you with David Trigger's version. Very good evening to you. Now we've got uh, news coming in from the Met. Uh, we've learned the names of those two men arrested today in that big anti-terror raid in East London. The two men arrested are believed to be Abdul Koya, 20 years old, of Bangladeshi origin, and Abdul Kahar, who is 23 and also of Bangladeshi origin. So one man 23, one man 20, uh, Abdul Koya and Abdul Kahar. Now, that's it from me. Uh, let's uh, just cheer ourselves up for a moment. News, six o'clock news here. Next, of course, with all the serious news back again. But a few weeks ago, we launched our new Countdown Music, and BBC Online have been asking you to send your own remixes. So, uh, before I go, our, we're playing our favourites. Every Friday at this time, we leave you this one tonight with Michael Wood.
6 o'clock, a 23-year-old man has been shot by police in a huge anti-terror operation. Sources have told the BBC that they had intelligence of a suspected chemical device. After months of surveillance, 250 officers, some wearing biochemical suits, moved in. The purpose of the investigation, after ensuring public safety, is to prove or disprove the intelligence that we have received. We'll have the latest from the scene from Gavin Hewitt and Daniel Sanford's at Scotland Yard with details of the police operation. Also on tonight's programme, kill or cure, could our everyday painkillers be increasing the risk of heart attacks? Right to roam, the endangered Chinese tigers that are upping sticks and moving to Africa. And with a week to go, are these the pictures that show that Wayne Rooney will be playing in the World Cup? I can show it to you. It was like fish with left foot and right foot, and he seems to have no pain at all. I was really surprised. Later in the hour, I'll have the rest of the sport as well, including John Lewis takes three wickets on his England debut against Sri Lanka, and also Alexandrova, trained by Aidan O'Brien, ridden by Kieran Fallon, has won the Oaks at Epsom. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the six o'clock.